All right, so my dog's not gonna like this. I get a jet sled full of water and we set it up as a little pool for him. I wanna flush out all the old gunk that's inside the trash pump. And because what we were pumping out before is already gone and it's all dry, I'm gonna see if I can't suck out the water out of the uh, jet sled. And then you guys can see it working, how to set up and get going, and you'll be on your way. All right. This is your pump. Take your screw off. Your bottom one is tight. And prime it, we're just gonna put some water down inside. Good. A little pro tip, stretch your hose out. Well, don't look at those kinks. I'm gonna stretch it out in a minute. Stretch it out flat. There's gonna be a lot of pressure coming out of the exhaust and it's gonna wanna zip around. Not crazy like a, you know, like you know, a fire department high pressure hose or nothing, uh, but it will whip around. And the end of that fitting there, especially with that quick disconnect, that hard plastic, that'll whack you in the legs and that sucks. So keep an eye on that. Straighten it right out before you get going. See what's happening. That water was flowing. But below them holes right there. So that's it right there. I mean, if I really wanted to use the trash pump to drain the rest of this uh, jet sled, I'd have to take that strainer off. Because as soon as the air is entered into the line, it's sucking in air, it's not sucking in water. So it brought that whole thing down and like three, four seconds. So it has a huge flow rate. Uh, it goes super fast. The book says 158 gallons a minute. I believe it because it cranks. And I just really want to set that up really quick to show you. Um, and I want to get a little bit of, uh, I want to get a little bit of fresh water flushing through because uh, we were doing all that uh, muddy trench water and there's a lot of sediment. So just to get something to flush it through. Uh, we're not quite done in the trench yet. So I may do go to the lake or something and really flush this one time really good before I put up because I may not use it again for the rest of the season. But otherwise, that's it. It's a great trash pump. Uh, it moves a lot of water, a long distance in a short amount of time. And it's only a couple hundred bucks. It's super awesome deal. And for as often as I use it, it's probably gonna last me a decade or more without any work at all. You know, as long as I can keep the ethanol out of it for deteriorating all those little rubber components and stuff, I don't see any issues with it. So that's it. Hope this has helped you guys out. Uh, there's links in the descriptions so you guys can go ahead and get your own directly. Uh, all the fittings, all that stuff will be there. If you need anything else, let me know. Uh, make sure you're subscribed, following along for the next stuff, and uh, Good luck out there on your farms or wherever you're going to move water. So hope it helps. Take care, guys. Bye.